video uh, we're going to talk about a custom product productivity tool that I'm currently building to save SOC analysts at least 30 minutes per day on OSINT related tasks so uh, I've been out for a while on recording videos for Cyber Skill Farm. That's because I've been prepare, preparing for a certification. I just got my uh, Microsoft Azure Administrator Associate uh, certification. It's quite a uh, quite a number of hours of preparation for this one. And uh, now that I am back, uh, and of course, based from my work, I decided to uh, have some fun and create. A custom tool for myself and uh, I hope I hope to share this to other SOC analysts or SOC researchers who are doing OSINT or using uh, OSINT tools for various tasks so this is this is a tool that uh, I started building in order to save time in a OSINT related task for a certain incident or alert from my experience, when it, when it comes to alerts and incidents, uh, the standard would be to, to do due diligence and background checks via OSINT. But the thing is, it takes time. And that time could have been placed into higher priority tasks or analysis-centered analysis tasks rather than just searching out data and from various feeds. And um, what analysts tend to do is to dismiss the background check altogether or to dismiss OSINT altogether and rely on just one tool or one hub or one source and that's that for in analyzing or in getting uh, information for a certain alert or incident. So that's, that's the reality, especially when there's a lot of alerts coming in into the SOC. And uh, the thing is, when we're trying to learn OSINT tools, it takes time. It's taking time for me to learn uh, one OSINT tool to the next and uh, that's that's really how it is so I decided um, to create or to start building this tool I call it easy OSINT so it's not a security tool per se but it's more of a productivity tool for uh, OSINT related tasks whether you're a SOC analyst or a researcher it may help you out and I'm creating this as an open source that anybody can just uh, download and customize to whatever uh, uh, needs that they have so I'm gonna put this in github and share this but of course right now it has it's still beginning I I, st I, I started uh, building the the data structure and uh, and the basic uh, UI user interface for this and uh, the one of the benefits that I can point out is that it's a custom platform that we can further customize to integrate internal tools with OSINT uh, external OSINT feeds so the thing is if it's an open source or if, you're, if it's a paid uh, security feed we can uh, actually put this into the tool and uh, use it and uh, what, what, what are the main benefits for this tool is that uh, we, we, I tried as much as possible to reduce the learning curve for my other fellow SOC analysts. So for example, it took me one to five hours to integrate a particular source or tool in, into this uh, tool in order for other SOC analysts to take just five or ten minutes to be able to start using it. So from five hours to five minutes, so that's... Uh, that's uh, one of the key things for this one and of course for time saved so on, on estimate so for example a SOC handles 10 alerts uh, in a day which which is small but let's just assume that and that it takes uh, uh, what do you call this a, a standard background check to check maybe 12 sources maybe it's virus it's total alien port OTX is Talos and so, so on and so forth so on my estimates if uh, if we do 15 seconds of check per uh, per source or uh, per hub such as virus total which is a uh, hub of various sources uh, we we are able to save around 
30 minutes per day per sock. And if we um, look at it from the perspective of the sock team, for example, if you have a 15-person sock team, that's that amounts to around 150 man hours of savings per month. So per day, for an individual sock, it saves 30 minutes per day. But for the whole team, if they really put in the OSINT side of the investigation in such a way that it is not that cumbersome in terms of the learning curve and the time consumed, then this could be the amount of time saved uh, using uh, a tool such as this one. So going to the tool, I'm just going to show the tool. This one. Oops. Okay, so I call it ECO sent, so EC open source intelligence. And what what we have here, it's not it's is uh it's uh artifacts are IP hash, URL domain and email. I can add a few things later on. But the thing is uh, for me right now the UI is built. So if you can select sources, you can add a lot of sources. But for me I, I use a test case which in this case is virus total. So let me just reset this, copy this IP as a test. So reset this. Okay, so for in this case, if you have an IP that you want to check out and rather than opening or checking out these various sources, we check, up, we check them at the same time. So just click submit. Okay, so it's running now. And this is just a test case to make sure that everything is working fine so the initial uh, six to seven seconds basically building up opening uh, the browser uh, and then uh, around five to ten seconds per source to check the artifact so after it's been checked it indicates that uh, it's found something in virus total and it found nothing in OTX although in reality I haven't really attached any any inputs into OTX. So that's just for to show that the UI is working. And one of the things that's time, time that is time consuming for the SOC is when we do the documentation side. So sometimes we don't do it at all. We just assume that we got the information ah, and it's like that. There is a problem. It needs further investigation. But in this case, we just click clipboard and we copy it. So let me just put it on text. I just put it earlier just to test it out. Yes, and indeed Okay, it has uh, it has total of 11 hits in virus total as a check, or we can investigate it. We can open uh, the the site where you got the information, and it really shows that yeah, it had a few hits in virus total. So we just close this. I found that there was a bug in the PDF, so I'm not gonna click that right now. So I'm gonna fix it later. So just to reset this and there we have it this is a simple productivity tool that i hope to that i'm aiming to build out continuously add a lot of a uh, few sources key sources and if you have any suggestions on this uh, please ping me on the uh, sources that we can add into this and uh, i think that's it for now guys and uh, i'm about to work it's actually the weekend right now and uh, I'm about to work tomorrow, but I just uh, thought of sharing this uh, in CyberSkill Farm. And of course, our motto really is to empower our fellow IT professionals. So for now, thanks for listening. And I hope that when I release this tool, this would help others as well when it comes to security research and such.